Welcome to the San Francisco Atola Studios. If you've been around for a while, you might have remembered this room. I feel like I unintentionally went to three different locations for this video. We got Montana, LA, and now San Francisco. And also my hair is different colors, so it's gonna be a little bit wild. Welcome everyone, my name is Kitty from Atola Visuals. For those who are new, hello, I run a video production company in California as well as play with camera gear from time to time. We're gonna be playing with the 6600 today. Let's go. I really love their 6500, their 6400, and now they have the 6600, which is a gem. I played with it when it first came out in the national parks in Montana when it was Sony Camera Cab. So now I'm bringing it back and testing it out a little bit more a few months later. So when I go through planning my videos, it takes me a bit and a while because I like to make them all different. For this one, a few years back, I actually did an inspired cliche video. So for this one, again, I wanted to do a part two and bring back all the shots that I've seen on Instagram and YouTube and see what this camera does with these type of shots. If you're getting into photography or filmmaking, it's really good practice if you not copy, but replicate things that you see and like in Instagram or YouTube or movies and TV shows so you could learn the techniques and the framing and the lighting and how to work your camera. And eventually once you practice and know how to do a certain technique just by looking at it, you could create your own style and that's the best part of what we do. What I like about this camera is because it's an APS-C camera, it is very small and compact. The lenses are small and affordable. And now this camera uses the Z batteries, which we all know and love because it lasts all day. Maybe you might need two batteries, but one will get you through pretty far. The new features are really nice, like the autofocus makes it a really good vlogging camera if you wanna shoot a lot of fast moving subjects, or maybe you're just lazy and you don't wanna use manual focus. It also has animal eye focus, so you can get all those cute little fluffy animal shots. Because we all know those cute fuzzy little animals do not sit still even though we tell them to. Unlike some of the other Sony cameras, this little guy does not have a recording limit. They started that off with the 6400, but now if you're looking to upgrade from the 6000 line, the 6500 line, the 6400 to this camera, I highly, highly recommend it because of that Z battery. Trust, it is worth getting rid of all those other cameras just for the Z battery alone. 
I'm a huge fan, if you haven't noticed. With many of the APS-C cameras, they are lacking some of the inputs, but this camera does have a headphone jack so you can listen to audio. Because it's also such a lightweight camera with lightweight lenses, this makes it a really good gimbal camera. So if you're gonna be running around, running and gunning, and events, weddings, B-roll, epic B-roll, cinematic footage, this might be a good camera for you. I wanna take a second and thank our sponsors over at Hover for genuinely supporting the creator community. Building your online presence is super important today and having a website domain that you could call your own is the first step you could take to building your reputation. And reputation is everything. Hover offers you the freedom to connect your domain to any host or website builder with a few simple clicks. I always talk about how important it is to have your email address match your domain name. And with Hover, they can set you up with this too. They also include free who is domain privacy so you don't need to worry about your personal info being out all over the place. Go to the link here and get 10% off your first purchase. Now back to the video. For many products there are cons along with the pros. For this one it kind of was a struggle to find some. Some of the challenges we all know with that flip up screen it is amazing. It's something that we've been asking for a while even though it is flipped up again like the 6400 which will block your mic if you want to put it on that hot shoe. But there are ways to fix it. You could get a mic bracket, you could use a cage, you could use a lav mic. So there are ways around it or you just have to pick between the screen or a microphone or use the onboard microphone on the camera only. Another thing is if it's a deal breaker for you to have a single SD card slot, this is probably not the camera for you if you want to back up or maybe record your photos and videos separately. So who is this camera for? A lot of people ask me what kind of camera they should get, but it's really difficult for me to pick the best camera for you. So if you fit this criteria and maybe say yes to a few of these, try out this camera and maybe it might be a good fit for you. First off, if you're trying to find a nice, really good B camera, but don't want to dive into another full frame camera, this is a perfect one for you. Personally, I used the 6500 as my B cam for a very long time until I sold it and upgraded it to an A7R 3 If you're looking for a first camera and you want to upgrade from your phone and you want to invest in the Sony line, this is a definitely a good start. You only need to get one battery as opposed to maybe the other cheaper Sony cameras. You have to get a couple and then You'll have the flip out screen, it's very small and compact and the lenses are cheap as well, like I said before. Because it's such a small lightweight camera, it makes it a really good portable travel video camera. If you're going on vacation with your family, maybe you wanna shoot some animals, landscapes, get some family photos or shoot a couple travel vlogs, this might be the camera for you. If this is your first camera, first B camera or you're updating from an older camera, have fun because it's definitely a good choice. If you want to compare this camera to the 6400, I did do a full review that you could check out up here. Find my G because I post there on the daily You Do You fam and I'll see you when I see you. Mm, done.